Welcome back to Home Reviews. In this video, we're looking at another laser level. This one is from Sigmon and it's the CM701 model. I'll be putting that link below the video if you guys wanna to go to Amazon and check it out and get more details about it. So this is what comes out of the box. It comes in a really nice zipped up case here that is padded on top and it has like a hard uh, foam material here. So if you transport it, you don't have to worry about it getting damaged because these things are very sensitive. They have little mirrors in them. And because these will self adjust, they can move. And so that's important. Why you wanna make sure this thing is also in the locked position when you transport it. Right now you can see it is locked. And if you unlock it, it's going to self-adjust or self-level. And when it does that, it kind of releases that lock and those mirrors are then able to move. And you don't want that to happen when you transport it. So you can lock it, put it back in the case, zip it up and be ready to go. Now, this is what you get inside of the case. So you have like an extra reflective device here that you can use maybe in case you can't see the green light quite as much in the area you are. You can set this up. It has a place here where you can put a nail or screw through to put it up against something. It also has a magnet on one end so you can attach it. And it even has a little stand that you can pop out here and you can just set it up. And then when you do that, you can let the laser shine against it and you can see it better that way. Now you have a user manual that goes over all the basic details of how it works. You have a little remote control, which is nice. That way you can turn the vertical or horizontal lines off and adjust the brightness without actually touching the device in case you're wanting to get it level and you don't want to bother it. This is a USB cable to charge it. So on the back of the device here, you're going to see there is a little cover here. You just open that up and that's where you're going to plug it up to charge it. And this comes with two nice attachments to help you to get everything level. So first of all, you have this one and it has that hole there at the top so you can mount this against the wall or just like if you have a nail or screw in the wall, you can put this in there. And then the bottom of this, you can see it's got a quarter inch thread here that goes into the bottom of this. And when you do that, you don't have to worry about it moving or falling off. And then you can set this at any height you want to on a wall or whatever you're attaching it to so you can get a nice even level. Now, I really like this little device here. So this works kind of similar. You're going to attach this onto the screw and then you can turn this and it, it rotates very smooth but very slow so you can get a precise alignment. And then the bottom of it, it has these three metal screws and you can adjust them so they'll unscrew a little bit. So maybe if you have to lift one side up, if you need to, you can do that. But it also has, it looks like a half inch thread here. So you can attach it to a tripod and just adjust it at whatever level you want to. Attach your laser level to this and then you can turn it left and right to get a smooth alignment. Now, as for the device itself, so it's really easy to use. Uh, let's take a look at the front of it. So you have your lock and your unlock and to turn it on, really, you just flip this to unlock and it turns it on. And then up on top, you have a few options here. So these are the same options you have on your remote control, which is you can turn vertical lines one and two off, your horizontal line off, or you can adjust the brightness by clicking this red power button. I believe there's three settings of brightness to it. So to turn this on, all you have to do is flip this, and you can see it blinking when it's blinking. That means it's trying to self level and it is not even. And of course it's not even because uh, we're holding it sideways. So if we were to set it down, then it's going to self level out. Now what I'm gonna show you here in a minute is what this looks like inside if you have it inside of a room and different things you can use this for. So let's jump over and look at this in a different perspective. So let's just take for an example, this is a room and you're trying to do some work to it. Maybe you're remodeling, maybe you wanna add a window or a door or some outlets or even just align some pictures on the wall. You can do all of that with this. So let's just imagine for a minute, this is a bedroom and you wanna put some outlets on the wall and you want them all the same height from the floor. Well, you can do this because when you turn on the horizontal line, it goes all the way around the room in every direction. Therefore, you're gonna be able to see this line against the wall and know the exact height to put that anywhere you want to in the room and they're all gonna be the same. Now you can do the same thing if you're putting in windows in your room or doors in your room and you just want everything to be the same height, the same level, or maybe you're trying to put in windows and you wanna make sure that they're straight up and down. And so you got these lines here that are gonna self-adjust and show you 
uh, straight up and down depending on where you have the setting at in your room. If you want pictures to be level in your room, you would simply put this at the height of wherever you want them, and then it's gonna show those lines all the way around your room. So if you wanna hang pictures on the other side of the room, on the other wall, you're gonna be able to see that on the other side of the room or any of the other walls to know exactly where to put it so they're the same height. Now you'll notice this line here that goes straight up the box. This will go straight up over top your ceiling and back down on the other wall. So you're going to have a full view of all sides of your room so where you can align anything horizontal or vertical and make sure they are perfect. Now when you're done using it, you always want to make sure you shove this all the way forward and that will turn it off and you can store it or move it. Now the other thing I want to show you is over here on the back side, these buttons. You have your vertical one, and if you turn that off, you're going to see that removes the one vertical line. And then you have another one over here, V2. If you click that, it's going to turn your other vertical line off. And then you also have your horizontal line. If you want to turn it off, you can do that. And that's all there is to it. So this is the Sigmund CM701. If you guys want to check this out, I'll put the link below this video. You can go get more details about it and check out the most current pricing. Now, if you guys enjoy these types of videos, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.